We recently looked at a trader method where you search for players out of their default positions. This is players that play at the center defensive mid position, but we were searching them on the transfer market in the center mid position. And because the center defensive mid to center mid position modifier costs 3000 coins, many players buy the CDM version for their teams, apply a position modifier, play a few games, and when they're finished, they list that player. But they list them for the price in which they bought them for originally and not their new value because it's a new position change player. And this is where we did come in because we then bought those players for extremely cheap and we were able to sell them on for three times or even four times their price getting some players around 700 coins and listing them for 4,000 coins and if you do want to see this there is a link to it in the description down below the method itself is great but there is an issue and it is that you are limited on how many players you can get per hour so today we are looking at a very similar method but you should be able to get a lot more deals as it is a lot easier before i do get into the video though if you do like the content i'm delivering here and you want to see a lot more of it then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell that way you'll be one of the first to watch the trader methods and you'll be one of the first to put it into action getting back into the video the premise from the previous method is very similar for this method we are looking at players that are slightly different compared to their default version of their card last time we looked at a change in the player's position this time we are looking for a change in the chemistry styles when you open a pack and get a player the card will always have a basic chem style if you want to change the chemistry style for that player you will need to buy it yourself from the transfer market or you will have to find those chemistry styles in packs which is exactly the same as position changes for this method we are relying on other people buying players and applying chem styles to fit their team and to suit their play style after they play foot champions play in division rivals complete what they want to do or get bored of playing with their current team that person will list those players on the transfer market and list those players for a price that was very similar to what they bought them for and forgetting that they've got a new price because it has a chemistry style which is also very similar to the previous method but one thing that isn't similar is how much profit you can make from this the previous method did allow us to make three maybe even four times as many coins as what we was able to put into it we were buying players for just 700 800 coins and then list them for 4,000 coins but we were looking at getting around about one of them every five to ten minutes with this method we're not going to make as many coins on just one card but we should be able to get them a lot more often so the method itself you want to find a player and go through each of the chemistry styles that is suitable for that type of player what i start out by doing is thinking of what type of position i'm looking for and then head over to footwiz to get a list of different players so for the clips in this video you are going to see me looking for strikers and center backs so the first thing i did was go over to footwiz select position at striker quality rare gold and then look at the leagues being the premier league league un Serie A, bundesliga and la liga this will give you the best strikers within the most popular leagues if you are to look for a different type of position what you'll do is just change the position but keep it as rare gold and also keep it at the leagues you can look at other leagues if you really want to but the issue is it may take a lot longer to sell as these are the top five most popular leagues you have a higher chance of selling these players as there's a higher chance that players are looking for these types of cards with these types of chemistry styles this is just my recommendation i also recommend sticking to positions which are used in a lot of formations so for the majority of formations you're always going to need a striker a center back and a goalkeeper but just like the previous point you can look at other positions it just might mean if you look at other positions it might take a bit longer to sell because not as many people are searching for them when you set up on footwiz and have a list of players just go down the list and search each player's name on a transfer market on fifa with specific chem styles in this example i'm using strikers and the hunter chem style I'm just going through each one searching for those parameters when going through this you'll realize that some of these players only have a cup on the market whereas other ones have page after page after page and what you want to do is just go through and compare the prices if i search a specific player a position striker a chem style hunter and all the players are listed at 3,000 coins but there is one listed at 2,000 coins you want to buy that one at 2,000 coins and list it for around 2,800 coins. 
undercutting the cheapest on the market so yours is the cheapest and also still having enough room for you to make profit after ea tax remember there is a five percent ea tax if anyone searches for that specific player and needs a hunter chem style they're obviously going to buy mine because it is the cheapest and this is all you want to do for this method because you have a list of players on footwiz all it takes is a couple seconds for you to type that player in and search for the specific chem style that you're looking for it'll probably take another 15 20 seconds depending how many there is on the market to compare them all and then another five seconds for you to decide whether or not you should buy any of them or just go on to the next player and type their name in you're going through things very very quickly here I recommend for this method not to look at players above 10,000 coins. It just becomes a bit harder to make profit. You will still notice a difference in price for the expensive players dependent on the chem style, but what you have to take into consideration is the EA tax. And because you're going above 10,000 coins, what was just a couple hundred coins when you're buying and selling a player for 3,000 coins, it becomes a lot more expensive because now you're going to look at 500 plus coins. If you go any more than that, it can go to 1,000 coins plus. So you need a much bigger gap compared to the price you buy that player for to the price you sell that player for. And it just becomes a bit harder to make profit. It's not impossible, it's just a bit harder. If you did watch the previous method where we changed positions, you might notice that you can make a lot more coins per card. We were able to get players for 700 coins and list them for 4,000 coins. This is unlikely to happen with this type of method, but you will be able to get 10 times as many players per hour compared to the previous method. So instead of times in your coins by three, four, or even five, with this method, you're looking at making a couple hundred coins going up to a thousand coins per deal, but you'll be able to get a lot more. This method is about quantity rather than quality. Search them up with the Hunter Chem style, buy the deals that are under price, list them appropriately, and then move on to the next player. Once you go through a list of every player with the Hunter Chem style, you go through the list again, except this time you're going to be looking at a different Chem style. And you're just going to go through every single player, buy the ones that are under price, list them appropriately, move on to the next player. As said in this video, we are looking at strikers and center backs, with strikers having a Hunter Chem style and center backs having a Shadow Chem style. But you can look at any position with appropriate Chem styles. What I recommend is if you're looking for a forward, you're going to either want to look at Hunter, Sniper, Deadeye, Marksman, or Finisher. For midfielders, you'll want to look at Artist, Architect, Powerhouse, Maestro, Engine, and Catalyst. For Defender, you want to look at Shadow, Sentinel, Guardian, Gladiator, Backbone, or Anchor. And then for Goalkeeper, you just want to look at Wall, Shield, Cat, and Glove. This just makes sure that you're looking at the appropriate chem styles for the positions that you're in. If you look at a chem style that doesn't fit that player's position, it simply will not sell. Now bear in mind there are some chem styles that can cross over into other positions. For example, you can use the anchor chem style on a center defensive mid or a center mid if they play a more defensive role within the squad. But you wouldn't use that on the likes of a striker. And if you did use that on the likes of a striker, no one's going to buy it. The best suggestion I have is understand the chem styles and just use your judgment. If it is something that does benefit the type of position that you're looking for, then by all means, search it up. The final thing to say about this method is you don't want to flood the market by listing them all at the exact same price if you have multiple of the exact same player. What I tend to do if I get three or even four cards of the same player is either hold some back and only list one at a time. Once that player sells, that's when I go and list one of my other cards. The other option is that you do list every single one of those cards except one will be appropriately priced this is the one that's most likely to sell whilst the other ones that you have are 1000 or even 2000 coins more expensive than anything else on the market that way you are forcing anyone that searches for that specific player with that specific chem style to buy your cheapest version once the more expensive cards do expire you can bring one of them down to something more appropriately priced for that specific player and still keep the other two that are expensive this way you're not flooding the market with them all being at the exact same price i have had issues before where i've managed to buy three or even four of the exact same player list them all for the exact same amount of time and the exact same price and someone has come across and just undercut me once my cards expire i then undercut that card and it just keeps on going down and down and down until i'm making a huge loss on my players this is just one way to counteract that it may sound confusing but you just don't want to flood the market with too many players 
because other players listing the same player will continue to undercut you this is just a safe way to do it but anyway guys this is the trader method this is very similar to the position change method and you probably should be using a similar price range of around about 100k this will easily get you from 100k to 250 or even push to 500k and i probably should have done a video back when i did the position modifier but there was other videos to do so we tend to push that one out and then look to other things now I'm coming back and just showing you how to do this as well. In a very short amount of time for recording clips for this video, I did get quite a lot of players and we made a very decent amount of profit. If you were to spend a bit longer, maybe looking towards an hour or even two hours plus, you should be making a lot of coins out of this. But anyway, that is the method. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to see ya.